Uh, hi YouTuber, uh, today we want to show you guys how you can program the smart key uh, for the uh, Lexus. This is the Lexus 2015. Of course you can use the same procedure for Toyota or Scion, anything between 2008 till 2015. Uh, we are going to use a software, they call them Tech Stream. You can buy it from the eBay and they are selling them about $20-$30. Uh, we are using the laptop and also the hardware that is coming for the uh, with a, a software that you buy them from the YouTube. Uh, it has a plug, it's going to be uh, o, uh, they call them OBD2 or on board the, uh, this uh, diagnostic tool, this is it. This is the plug. The other end of it has a USB. You connect them to the computer. You install the software that is coming with it. It's going to be a mini diskette right in here. I don't know exactly the version of the software, but while I'm launching the software, you can look at in the corner of it. It shows the version that I currently use. I bought this one last year. This is a 2014 software. The vehicle is a 2015, but you can use the same software. So as I mentioned, the name of the software is a tech stream the computer that, that we're using right in here is using the window xp i am not sure that you can use a window 8 or uh, window 7 but after you uh, open the, the window it's going to and install the software it's going to put a little icon right in here i don't know if you can see no it shows as a t I'm going to double click on it uh, and launch the software. Okay, the software is coming up. Uh, I want to let you guys know uh, since that when after I start doing this, it will show the VIN number on the screen and we are going to cover that one with a piece of tape, blue tape. You do, it's not necessary for you guys that you know what type of VIN number is in my vehicle. Again, this is a 2015 RX350. We just got them and we want to uh, put additional key or smart key they tell on you. This is our smart key that you guys have on. Brand new one, we bought them. This is a brand new. If you buy the used one, it's going to be the different procedure. I'm going to explain that one at the end of this tape, what you should do. But this is a brand new one we bought them and I show you how you can program it. To program in them, you gotta take them to the Lexus or you gotta have software such, a day, such, such as this one that we have right in here. Okay, now I'm gonna open the cable and go ahead and connect the end of the OBT, OB2, uh, uh, OBD2 uh, connector right in here in a bottle. All right. And the USB side of it is going to go by the computer. And let me just see. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, it's connected. It's, you hear the ding sound, and that is telling you it's already been connected. If you take a look at the OBD2 side of the uh, connector, you will see it has a LED, orange LED, red LED, or some sort of the LED. It's going to come on, and it's telling you it's already been connected. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and turn on the vehicle. To doing so, one thing that I have to mention it to you guys is make sure while you're doing this uh, programming, you do, should not have more than one of this uh, smart key by yourself. So to keep in the other smart key, you, should, uh, you have to keep them out of the vehicle away, at least four feet away from the vehicle. So this is the original one right now. I'm keeping them in the vehicle because I want to turn them on and the new one that I bought and the used one I'm going to keep them out of the vehicle somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the vehicle and come right in here on the software and then launch the software. Uh, when I'm launching this please don't show it up because it's going to show my VIN number. I'm going to come right in here and I said connect to the vehicle. This button right in the top it said connect to the vehicle. I'm going to click on that don't show it for a second. Okay, I turned the vehicle on. Let me just turn the air off. And uh, connect the cable. I'm gonna go ahead and 
uh, click on this button right in here it said connect to vehicle I connect click on it and you're gonna wait it's gonna go through the procedure and start communicating with the computer on the car now you guys seen it on real time how long does it take a time to go through all of this thing? procedure as I mentioned the vehicle is on right now the engine is running I covered the VIN number, now I'm just going to pick up the vehicle that we do have, what type of vehicle do we have, of course we have option of the Lexus, Scion or uh, Toyota, it's going to be Lexus in this scenario, then it says select the model that we do have, in this scenario we do have RX uh, 350, so I'm just going to pull this thing down, till I go to the R right there, and picking that up and then it's going to say what year is going to be the maximum year in here it goes till 2014 but i'm just going to pick 2014 as i said this vehicle is a 2015 but that doesn't matter then it shows the type of the engine that it has for the option you're going to click on the option and you pick the others not the ra uh, radar cruiser and then you say next And we wait till it goes through the procedure. And it, it, now it's going to present us with a next menu. And I tell you on the next menu what button you have to press and what you should do. There you go. All right. Now I am just going to go ahead and click on this. Uh, it said um, remote. Uh, no, 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 no. Which one do I want to click on? Uh, oh, right in here. The tab that it said body electrical. Click on that and then i'm going to go ahead and click on the smart access i think we can get rid of this and put them in my win number that is right in the corner right in here all right it's coming up it's coming with this screen up you click on utility right in here on the side it said utility you click on it and then it's going to give you a bunch of the option right in here it has a, a smart code erasure you remember this one for future and a smart core registration so i'm going to click on the smart core registration It's going to tell you make sure that you don't have your phone by yourself in a vehicle or any RF resources. It's telling you make sure that uh, it, it is time dependent. You have to check all of this. And it is also it's telling you turn if your vehicle is on, turn them off. So I'm going to check this, check this, check this, check this, turn off the vehicle. And, and say next. Uh, it's not going to be. Uh, well, the screen is so small. It doesn't show the next. I don't know if I'll be able to. Yes. I say next. Okay. Now it's telling you for the key registration, you have to do this. You sh it's explaining right in here with a graphic that you should have only one key in it at the time or one smart fob in the vehicle. At the start, we just need the original one. 
that is I'm going to take the original one inside the vehicle and you have to keep the other one out of the vehicle I do have 30 second I'm going to uh, when I click on this pre-start check I have 30 seconds to execute the next step all of this step is being shown on the side so what am I going to do I'm just going to click on the pre-start and this window is coming up and it's telling you to keep one of the uh, key out of your vehicle and keep the other fob inside the vehicle. You can close it down and say start. Now it's telling me to take my main key that I do have in a vehicle and put them right by the start button. The back of this gonna go right by the start button. You put in them right by the start button, it make a beeping sound, and then you do have right now, you have to move that, that key out of the vehicle, take the new key, and put them right by the start key. And leave them inside the vehicle. After it make a beeping sound, you're gonna put them in the passenger side, and it's done. The procedure is done. Right now, the brand new FOB switch that we do had is already being programmed. So I'm going to explain one more time what we done. We put the original key, the back of the logo on the FOB, right by the start button. We brought them out of the vehicle. We take the new FOB inside the vehicle and put them right by the start button. The minute that we hear the beep, we pick the key up and we put them in the passenger side. And the about maybe 10 seconds later, the brand new FOB is being programmed for the vehicle. Now we're gonna to try to see if it does work or not. So, as I explained to you guys, this was the new FOB, brand new FOB. I'm just gonna get them off. Of course, it doesn't have a key in it. It's just the FOB by itself. So this is supposed to be right now programmed. When I'm telling you, you're gonna go ahead and put a logo. This is the logo of the Lexus that you are putting on by the start key for getting the beep sound or the starting the procedure. Now I'm just gonna go and see if I can turn on the vehicle with this brand new key that we programmed. So I'm coming inside the vehicle, push the brake and start. And voila, the system is working. So I shut them off now and I try to see if I can use the lock and unlock key to, of course the door is open, it's not gonna be respond. But you can hear the beep, see? It's telling me the door is open and I unlock it or you can use them to open the trunk or anything. So this was the procedure to do the brand new FOB switch if you want to go ahead and program it for the smart key. If you do have, if you have a FOB switch that is from your other vehicle or you buy the used one as I do have one right in here, the procedure is going to be a little link here. You cannot do the same thing, it's gonna take a longer. What you gotta do, if you remember that, on the screen I show you, it has erasure. You have to erase all keys that you do have and it started from beginning. It means if, you, if this vehicle, when it came, it came with a two type, two switches. So you have to erase all of those and then it started from beginning. So if I go right now through the procedure again, right in here, let me just see if I can go back. Okay, now I'm gonna click on next. Again, as I'm saying, the screen is... So it's telling me right now the number of the available space for now, for new keys is four and three of them is already being used right in here. So that was the third one that we just programmed. Every time you program this key, uh, it's gonna come out of here. Again, if you do have a used one, you have to erase all these three and program every individual one from beginning that's the way that the system does work and the link of the time to doing that is much longer because while it erasing them it's going to take about 20 minutes or so uh, to do the eraser uh, erasing the code so that was the whole procedure i have some other stuff that I want to explain to you guys about this these are the in case if you run out of all of you know they do they have a key right in here this key is coming, the only usage for this key, this is of course a brand new key. It's just opening the door or you can uh, lock your glove department box that you do have. The other thing you can use, you know, right in here to splitting this apart and take a look at the battery that is in there if you want to change the battery. In case if the battery is dead on this, 
for you putting them somewhere after years, you find them up and you want to turn your vehicle on, you don't need to change a battery. Just put this logo right by the start key and then you can start your vehicle. The bad thing about these units are, uh, compared with the older model is they do have the immobilizer chip. The immobilizer chip on the older unit was in the key. So you have to be pretty much touching the receiver till the system does work. On the new system, they put the amplifier inside of it and they're getting them the range of the about four feet or so. So that is the reason that you don't need to have the switch so close to your start key. And that's all.